at Sean Neptune will give us a recap on the pep assembly that took place last Friday. Chayton Fonestil will be covering the Golden Apple. On Games Game Recap, Gabe Daniel will be giving us the cover on sports that went down this week. Plus on Dropping Dimes, Trey and Andrew are seeing if people know different quotes. I'm Kayla Perkins. And I'm Emma Seville. And KCAT News starts right now. Sean Neptune's going to start us off with details about the first school pep assembly that took place last Friday. Last Friday, Mulvane had its first in-school pep assembly, which included games. Unfortunately, no MVC points were rewarded due to the amount of cheating that happened during the competition portion of the pep assembly. Team interjections and performances from the Classic Cats, cheerleaders, color guard, and the drum line. Like every pep assembly, it concluded with the traditional class chants and alma mater. Sean Neptune, KCAT News. Every week, Cake News gives out a Golden Apple Award that honors a teacher who has positively impacted their school. This week, first grade teacher Miss Miss Tempe Heck from the Munson Primary School was the recipient of this award. Reporter Jayton Fonestil has the details about Miss Heck's accomplishment. Thanks, guys. On Monday, August 27th, Cake News presented Munson Primary teacher Mrs. Tempe Heck with the Golden Apple Award. The Golden Apple Awards are presented to the most prestigious of teachers based off parent nominations. Heck always goes above and beyond for her first grade students. Well, Mrs. Heck loves her kids. She plans um, countless hours for the activities that she's going to do with the um, students. The parents who nominated her, she actually got two uh, different nominations. One was um, at the end of last year, and a group of parents nominated her because of um, the ways that she cares for kids in and outside of school, um, and not just when they're here at Munson, but on until when uh, into their high school years. Heck has a lot of activities to keep her classroom fun and interesting. I try to have special star students each week and they get to do special activities in the classroom. Um, camper of the week, since I'm doing a camping theme, we have different kids picked each week to be the camper of the week and they get to bring stuffed animals and book to class to share. I try to go out in the community and see them at their games and activities and different things that they do. And I do lots of different incentives and prizes. And um, one of the top ones they all love to do is get Pizza Hut pizza and eat in the classroom with me for their sight words. Local nonprofit Project Teacher also presented Heck with $1,000 worth of school supplies. These pens, pencils, highlighters, glue sticks, and notebooks will help Heck students with various projects in the classroom. We had seven boxes of them, and I have seven table groups, six table groups, so each table group got to help me open it. So it was kind of like unboxing Christmas presents. The kids loved it. We opened them and took them out and talked about them and videoed it and took our pictures. In addition to receiving higher marks from both the parents and administrators, she also is admired by her students. Um, I think she's a good teacher because she doesn't let us miss recess and we can do lots of work. I like Mrs. Heck because she's super nice and super friendly. To nominate a teacher for the Golden Apple, go to cake.com, hover over the community tab, and click on the Golden Apple link. Also, those who want to donate to Project Teacher may do so by going to projectteacher.org or by dropping off school supplies at nearby Dillon's locations. Reporting from Munson Primary, I'm Chan Fonsel, KCAT News. On GGR, football had a great week and Gabe Daniel will be giving us a recap of the home cross-country meet and the rest of the sports that happened this week. Thanks, Caleb. The volleyball teams were in action Saturday, September 8th. JV had a tournament at Conway Springs as they were able to pick up a win against Douglas, two sets to zero. And then Varsity had a tournament in Arc City where they were able to pick up two wins. One against Arc City, two sets to zero, and the other came from Wichita Northwest, two sets to one. Then on September 11th, they hosted the Andale Indians and the Collegiate Spartans. JV fell to the Indians in two sets, but rallied back to defeat the Spartans in two sets. Then Varsity also fell to the Indians two sets to zero, but they came back with the win over Collegiate two sets to one. September 10th, the girls' golf team was in action in Wellington. Maddie Ewing shot a 62 and Taylor Ingram shot a 63. Then they had another meet on September 11th in Andover. 
Shira Herman shot a 44 meddling in 5th place. Maddie Ewing shot a 55 meddling in 7th. Taylor Ingram shot a 49. Isabella Laraga shot a 58. And Brantley Allen shot a 61. The cross country team had a home meet on Monday, September 10th. On the boys' side, they placed first overall with John Thorson leading the Cats in second place, Kyle Jones in third place, Justice Kidd in fourth place, Ryan Roderick right behind him in fifth, Clement Heck in eighth, Tyler Fox in ninth, Robbie Brown in tenth, and Donovan Malone in fourteenth. And then on the girls' side, they placed second overall with Anna Moon leading the way in first place, Josie Russell in fourth, Caitlin Frieden in fifth, and Cameron Nolan in twelfth place. The boys' soccer team finished up the Arc City Tournament with playing Augusta on September 6, falling to the Orioles 3-0. Then on September 8, they played Coffee Bill, falling 10-0. Then on September 11, they traveled to Circle to play the Thunderbirds. Varsity fell 4-1, then JV lost a hard-fought battle 1-0. Friday, September 7, the Varsity football team hosted the Clearwater Indians. The Cats defeated the Indians 42-14, with touchdowns coming from Tab Creekmore, Gage Gerlock, Cole Diffenbaugh, and Jacob Walker, improving their record to 1-1. One one. Then the JV team had a 40-24 win as well, improving their record to 2-0. Tonight, the Cats travel to Collegiate, kickoffs at 7 p.m., and the theme for tonight's game will be Hillbilly Night instead of Prep Night. That's it for this week's edition of Gabe's Game Recap. Gabe Daniel, KCAT News. On Dropping Dimes, Trey and Andrew will be going around and testing people's knowledge on who said that quote. Drip, 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 drop, drip, drip, drop. Dropping dimes, dropping dimes, dropping dimes, dropping dimes. Dropping dimes everywhere, like I just don't care. This week on Dropping Dimes, we'll be testing the student body on whether or not they know different quotes from different people. Let's go figure out if they do. The first quote today, make them quit, cause you can, but you gotta do it. Who said that? A, Will Smith, B, Dave Finnewald, or C, Arnold Schwarzenegger? C. Unfortunately, it was the Dave Finnewald. Yeah. Who said, make them quit, cause you can, but you gotta wanna do it? A. Dave Finnewald, B, Will Smith, or C, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Finnewald. That is correct. You have more and one die today. At the point of maximum danger is the point of minimum fear. Who said that? Will Smith, Dave Finnewald, or Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh, Schwarzenegger. Close, but no. It was Will Smith. At the point of maximum danger is the same point at minimum fear. Who said this? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Dave Finnewald or Will Smith? Finnewald again? No. Nope. It's Will Smith. We're gonna move the mountains. Who said that? Dave Finnewald, Arnold Schwarzenegger, or Will Smith? Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, it was not Arnold Schwarzenegger, but you tried. Do you think that all three of them are gonna be Finnewald? Yeah. No, why not? Because that's not how this game is played. Could be. It's definitely not. The third quote today is, move the mountains. Who said this? A, Will Smith, B, Dave Finnewald, or C, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Actually, it's Dave Finnewald. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing. I guess most of the student body is completely oblivious to the world around them. And this concludes this episode of Dropping Dimes. Drip, 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 drop. Drip, drip, drop. Dropping dimes, dropping dimes. Dropping dimes, dropping dimes. Dropping dimes everywhere like I just don't care. Good job this week, guys. Now we're going to be giving you guys a chance to get involved with KCAT. Yeah, we're going to be starting this thing called Twitch Time, where you guys answer questions on our Twitter at Real KCAT News. It should be like right here. And this week it will be movie quotes, since Dropping Dimes is who said that quote. And the four movie quotes we have this week are, May the Force Be With You, Toto, I Got a Feeling We Aren't in Kansas No More, You're Killing Me Smalls, and Say Hello to My Little Friend. Tonight, the varsity football team will be heading to Collegiate, and next week, picture retakes are on Tuesday, and next week we will be giving you details about homecoming. That is this week's episode of KCAT. Thanks, Thanks for watching KCAT. KCAT.